Uh, coming off of an upsetting and difficult game the other night, obviously you spoke about it after the game. Uh, coaching staff, team not pleased at all with the results so in terms of Sunday and in terms of how it played out. Uh, we had a very direct, uh, that's probably the best way to put it, a very direct film session yesterday where we had a chance to look at some things from the game uh, as we prepare uh, for tomorrow's game versus South Florida. But we had to spend a lot of time yesterday looking at what happened on Sunday versus Wichita mm -hmm. State. And, uh, you know, we get, a, we get a day of practice today before we hit the road. So we have not had been able to be on the court yet since the Sunday's game. So we'll get at it today uh, right after this. And then lastly, obviously, uh, Winston Tabs has entered the transfer portal. Uh, just the utmost respect and support Winston in what he's pursuing uh, in terms of his playing career and education. He's been great here. Uh, he has our full support. We are going to help him with whatever is best for him as he moves forward. Coach, when you look back at the South Florida game the first time, what are some of the things you see that you got to do better this time? Well, we, we didn't guard the three-point line very well in the first half. Um, you know, it was a close game at halftime, but they got, you know, they hit some threes early in the game and they shot the ball well in the first half. Uh, we did a better job in the second half, but we were not able to defend Tyler Harris in the second half. He was the difference in the game, probably the last 10 minutes specifically. He made a shot uh, that put them up. Uh, ended up putting them up by one. We had a two-point lead. He hits a three that puts them up by one. And from that point, the basket got very big for him. So we didn't contain Harris very well in the second half. We didn't guard the three-point line very well in the first half. We got to be better in those areas, hopefully. And and then the big fella in there, Russell Tachua, is just, uh, you know, he, he had his way with us in terms of scoring the basketball, rebounding, and we have to be much better protecting the paint uh, versus him and their whole team. How tough is it versus a guy like Harris? Obviously, you, you prioritize him, but it's almost like if he – it's one shot, he just kind of gets going. Is it yeah, you, yeah, you watch him the other night uh, versus SMU. You know, SMU has a fairly comfortable, I don't know if nothing's comfortable, but they're up double digits roughly in the second half, and he gets going, and he gets and ends up being a two-point game. And he's just a dynamic player, a dynamic scorer that can go get it. And we, we talked about this before we played the last time, that the minute he crosses half court, uh, he will. he's a threat to shoot the ball, score the basketball. And uh, we showed our guys areas on the floor that he would shoot it from. And after the game, we watched the film. We showed him shooting it from there, and he did it. So, yeah, and any time a dynamic score, and you have to try and focus on him. But they have a lot of good players. I mean, we could go down the list. They're inside, and they're Keyshawn Bryant. And they just have a lot of good players across the board. So you could put all your focus there. But they have other guys that can hurt you, and they did in the first game as well. How do the guys take the, the tough love or, or power, you know, the, the, just a tough, you know, we got to get this thing right type thing? From after the Wichita State yeah. game? Yeah, I think they, they were, uh, you know, I think the hardest thing to do sometimes for everybody is to look in the mirror. And you look in the mirror and you say, you know, what, what, did, what did we not do or, or where could we have been better? And sometimes a defense mechanism goes up uh, because it's not easy to lose the way we did the other day. I mean, they, they punched us right in the face to start the game and we never could get back in it. And the only portion of the game that we were able to match or exceed effort was the last eight minutes with that group. So uh, I think the group that played the majority of that game was able to look at that film and in front of their peers, in front of their coaches, all of us together, and we're honest. Now, the question is, do you react to it? Do you emotionally react to it? Or do we respond to it? And, you know, good teams, good players know how to respond, and we'll see when we get on the court today. What did you see when you, you watched the film, you know, but then get into the rim so easily in, in that first half? Yeah, I think they came out on a mission. There's no doubt about it. They were going to go at Brandon Johnson and go at R.J. Felton, two guys that played very well in the game at Wichita when we were able to win. And they were going to do everything they could to, as they should. They did a great job of it. They were going to make Brandon guard. They went at him the first three possessions of the game. They got the ball into Alex Rojas. Rojas played a very good game. He was forceful. He was physical. He played with speed. And they played very fast in transition. And Craig Porter Jr. is one of the very best point guards there is, not only in this conference, but in the country. So the way they played in transition, the way they threw the ball inside to Rojas early in the game, Poto's playing really good basketball, and then they spearhead it with a point guard that gets them going and can get downhill and get them going in transition. I mean, they accomplished what they wanted to. And again, they came out with great tenacity, and I think it put us back on our heels, particularly some of our main guys. With Brandon, it seemed like he, he was a little frustrated in that second half. Is that part of you know his maturation process, learning how to deal with some of that? Yeah, probably, you know, and, and again, we had a scrimmage early in the year, and we talked about this with Brandon, that 
he probably hadn't looked frustrated like that since that very first scrimmage we had. And he played a very dynamic post player in that game and he learned a lot about himself. We learned a lot about our team in that game. And from that point forward, he has just been going like this. And he's still going like, he's still in trending like that. But for whatever reason, like you said, maybe it was frustration, maybe it was the physicality, maybe it was getting in early foul trouble, maybe the shots just aren't going in. I mean, there's a number of things in sports, as you know, that can affect. But he had one of those games where he wasn't himself. But by no means, Brandon has matured throughout this year and he's only gonna get better. And you know, we're just kinda looking at that like, hey, that, 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 was, a, that was an anomaly where he is right now in this season. After the game, you mentioned to Jeff Charles that more of the guys need to play like Ben Biala. He struggled earlier in the year. When did that switch kind of flip for him? Yeah, you know, two things. You go back to December, and I don't know if you guys remember this, Ben was getting ready to go into the starting lineup in December. After that South Carolina game, he played well in Greenville, South Carolina. We won that game versus South Carolina. He played very well. He was getting ready to go into the lineup the next game. He sprained his ankle, and he sprained his ankle leading into that next game. And quite honestly, he was playing like this then, and then the ankle injury, and he's now finally feeling fully healthy off that. But the point I was making after the game was that even when he was struggling offensively, early in the year, he, I mean, his numbers offensively were really diff, you know, tough. And he never stopped rebounding. He never stopped playing defense. Every time he came in the game, at least he gave us a positive impact in those areas. And he did that. Now he's healthy. He's shooting the ball better. And, you know, the last two games have obviously been his two best offensive games. Coach, when you came here this summer, you talked about recruiting North Carolina and the East heavily. How do you feel that's been going? Uh, excited about the uh, recent news, and we're going to stay on that path. We've seen a lot of great things out of Ezra this year. In the past few games, it seems like he's slowed down a little bit. How is he as a freshman responding to practice? Yeah, you, great point. Just like when he didn't wasn't really getting the minutes that we expected of him and that he wanted for himself, most importantly, early in the year, his practice habits haven't changed even in this last three or four game stretch. There's a lot of things that go into that. He's a freshman. We're midway through conference. Scouting is elevated from the up, from defense going towards him offensively and then vice versa. Our scouting is getting elevated and increasing in terms of the details. You're coming around the second time around playing teams. You know, we played Wichita now twice. We played Temple twice. This will be the second game versus South Florida. We've seen just about everybody once other than SMU, Tulane, Houston, you know, but we've seen teams. So scouting starts to get elevated. And I think as any freshman, not only going through the physical demands of being in late January, whereas in high school, they're getting ready for their season to be winding down. We're just, we're in the middle of conference play, so that's one. And two, the mental aspect, you can't just say, hey, the way we've been scouting November, December, January, okay, I figured it out. Scouting is always going like this, and the best teams and the best players in the country, they are the most detailed February, mid-February, late February into postseason. And Ezra's just learning that, and, you know, it's been a three or four game stretch, but I think he'll flip it around, he'll turn it around. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me grab that from you real quick.